long time no see how y'all brothers doing this is the ultra star triple three yes it is me it's been a while since i posted a video on here um been over a year i've just been living and i've been learning y'all probably thought i was locked up in jail somewhere or you probably dead nah not me not yet anyway i ain't there yet but anyway, um, I've been watching videos on here, and um, there's been some changes, um, and I want to address some of those changes, you know, with some ass clowns uh, running around on here, wanting to debate everybody, almost everybody. I'm going to call one of them out. By the name of Polite. Yes, Polite. I don't get this character. And I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna address Polite directly. Polite, in case you don't know who I am, you can go back and look at some of my videos. And I watched the debate that you had. Two debates. And um, you complain, you 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 say you, that you are a god, and the black woman is god. That's uh, an overstatement. Black woman would be a goddess, but she's not that. She's a queen, but she is no goddess. All right, and I'm going to explain to you why it's not about how I feel or what you feel or what I think or what you think or what I believe or what you believe we're gonna go off science hard facts that people can go back and look up on their computers right here right now all right first of all you're not a god all right that's a bit of an overstatement, a big overstatement for you. You might be good at what you do, which is sucking in information and regurgitating it and not really understanding the real meaning behind it. You're still an amateur. And what I mean by that, you don't have to go, I don't say, Someone like myself don't have to go and bash people. Even though if their doctrine is flawed, I don't have to bash them to make myself look good. Or uh, exploit the uh, flaws in their doctrine to make them look bad. If a brother is trying, you shouldn't knock it. That's my point. And, um... Uh, you treat this as this is some kind of game. Well, it's not a game. It's not a game whatsoever. It's not about popularity points or anything like that. And for you to claim yourself to be a god when you're not, damages your credibility. When a God says he's a God, a living God, a, phys a physical being of today, when he says he's a God, that really means nothing, even though he may be a God. A God is a living God, means that you possess a certain blood type. That blood type is RH negative. Meaning that you're not immune, certain things don't affect you like RH positives. All right? Over 80% of the world's population are RH positives. I even say 90%, 95%. The rest of that small percentage, 
is Rh negative. Unless you possess the Rh negative blood type, then you are not a god. You may be a king, but you are definitely no god. A god can impregnate both Rh positive and Rh negative women. Okay? There's no boundary. With you, if you are H positive, you can only impregnate one type of woman, which is the RH positive. You can't impregnate a woman that's RH negative. If you do her if you do get her pregnant, her body is gonna build up antibodies and reject the baby as if it's a foreign object. Okay, that was put into place for a reason. If you know the Sumerian text, Inki, the father of all beings here, I'm gonna say black folks, all right? Because there was genetic material stolen from us. But black folks, we the original, we both agree on that, of course. Inki put that into place to keep bloodlines separated. All right, meaning that if I had a daughter and she wanted, she was interested in your black ass and you try to get her pregnant and you su successfully do and nobody rejects the baby, you won't be a part of the bloodline. Neither will the baby. Only a RH negative male will be able to impregnate, impregnate the daughter that I will have successfully anyway. But today, you know, they give out shots in the hospital and shit like that, which makes it possible. But back a long time ago, the baby died. All right? That's proven science. Look it up. R A, the rhesus factor. That's what it's called. The rhesus factor. All right? Very few black men possess this. And very few people in general, especially blacks. And I doubt if your black ass do. So you need to stop calling yourself a god. Alright? Number two. The black woman is not a goddess. Alright? She's not. She hard-headed and don't want to fucking listen. Alright? She don't want to listen. Unless you brainwash her or some shit like that. And a lot of the times that shit backfire on you. You think you got your women, your women right now. Don't get too confident. Okay? And that's not a threat or anything like that. But you, you black. You know the black woman. You know it. You know her. And you know she will flip flop. Not because of her mama, but because of her best friend or something. She gonna always have that best friend. As I talked about in one of my videos, that's gonna be all up in her ear, all in her head. Have more influence over her than you do. That's if, if you actually have her. And I'm gonna tell you how you know you really have a woman, okay, a black woman. But first, let me get to this whole black woman being a goddess. The male gene is the dominant gene, polite. That's something you should know. The act of sex do, cannot take place without a man. I don't care if a woman is a lesbian, and lesbians use dildos, some of them, that claim that they don't like no dick in them. But they use a dildo. If it wasn't for dick, they wouldn't be here. Okay? The man is a god, okay? He's dominant. Somebody that's RH negative, I'm going to say that. And we can go back to that right quick. If the black woman 
is a goddess. Pay attention. If a black woman is a goddess, tell me why in the hell a man has a substance in his sperm called NGF. NGF. Look it up. NGF, when you shoot sperm in a woman, it has a direct effect on her brain. Directly. That's science. Not no bullshit that you be spewing now talking about the black woman is a goddess or whatever. Part of being a goddamn goddess meaning that you don't change. Alright? But yet, a man that shoots his sperm, it don't matter if he's RH negative or positive, if he's shooting his sperm in that woman, the NGF in that sperm is going to have a direct effect on her brain. That's why some women have a hard time separating from men. Okay? Even though you, he might be putting his foot in her ass every day. But she tell her girlfriend, yeah, I know, I know, I, I, I just can't leave him. You know why? Oh, like, take a while, guess. I just said it. So none of that bullshit about beliefs or all of that, we talking hard science. I want you to look that up. N-G-F, okay? And as far as helping black folks, oh, like, you ain't helping black folks. Nigga, you helping yourself. That's the way I see it, and that's the way a lot of other people see it, and, and some of the people in your organization also, I'm pretty sure. It is what the fuck it is. You're helping yourself. You want to look good. You look at, you in the goddamn spotlight. If you that much powerful, consider yourself a God, you know power sits behind the throne. You get behind the motherfucking throne. Set the fuck down, stay out of the spotlight. But you're still young though. You want you want all the glory. And that's fine. But if you're gonna teach, teach the right things. And the debate you pulled out their numerous list. Now I agree that the Bible is plagiarized. There ain't no question about that. But they're new malicious for laterized also. It's not the original Sumerian text. It's the Babylonian version. The Hittite version. And if you was gonna bring out some shit, you bring out the original Sumerian text. You could have bought out the Lost Book of Inky. You could with words, but a lot of the shit you don't know what the fuck you talking about. You just don't. You do not. Because if you got in a debate with me, you would have lost it within the first five fucking minutes. That bullshit that Malachi York teaches, that you still deeply rooted into, is flawed. Okay? This, and like I said, I'm going off of facts, Polite. This ain't some shit I'm just pulling out my ass. You can go back and look it up. Never one fucking time has anybody besides the Washita Moors down here in the South talk about the motherfucking bounds here in Louisiana that predates the Egyptian pyramids that the LSU campus sits on to this very day. They call them the LSU Mounds. That's what they call them. There's another part that's called Poverty Point. That's in Northern Louisiana that's older than the Egyptian pyramids. Okay? Like I said, you do not want to fucking debate nobody like me. I don't care about the motherfucking spotlight 
and the fame and the glory and all that shit. I don't give a fuck about that. But if you're going to teach it, teach it correctly, for like, Do your motherfucking homework. Stop selling uh, books and shit about how to get rich in the real estate and all that bullshit. People ain't got time for that. Black folks ain't got time for that, nigga. Fuck, you got people that's doing bad that need help immediately. That want to say, look, I got some money. I got a few dollars. I want to put it in this and see a return on my money. Not going to get licenses and all that bullshit. Which you only really, you sell them the motherfucking plan. With no guarantee that it'll work. Only person that make money is your ass and your cronies. If everybody eat, nigga, you'll sleep better at night. You ain't got to worry about nobody plotting up against you and all that shit. Spread the motherfucking wealth. And I'm going to show your black ass how. I'm going to call you out on it. I'm going to see where your head is. Oh, like, have you ever heard of the term Bitcoin? If you did, and you did not tell any of your followers about Bitcoin, you selfish. Okay, now if you never heard of it, say you never heard of it. Tell them. You ain't really got to explain shit to me. Because uh, I don't depend on you for shit. And I don't follow you. But you have a responsibility to your followers to tell them. Okay? Now, if you never heard of Bitcoin, Bitcoin is a decentralized currency. Not backed by no centralized bank or anything like that. It's peer to peer. Meaning that if I want to send some money to somebody, I ain't, it ain't got to go through the bank. It's a digital currency, cryptocurrency. And a lot of people that know about it is techies. And people that's con connected to those techies in some shape, form, or fashion. I mean, if you don't have a connection, you're not going to really know about it until you miss the boat. Now, this currency is unregulated right now. It's unregulated. And you can mine for it on a computer. But right now, what's known as the difficulty is so high, it's not profitable to mine for it on a regular computer. You will need to purchase something called an ASIC. Applicated, application specific integrated circuit. Okay, it's a special type of computer. A computer fast enough to process DNA. But only it's only can process 256 uh, bit encryption. It's only just for that, for mining bitcoins. And you run the risk of mining, losing out on mining because the fucking delivery. You have to wait for the fucking delivery, which could be months. Now there are other currencies that you can get into such as QR and Megacoin and Worldcoin and Dogecoin, there's so many other coins. If you want to help our people out, you really about helping people out, you put up the money and buy. If they if somebody sell to your ass number one. If somebody sell to you, good luck. You'll have to go through exchange online to get it or either you can mine for it like i said mining is too risky to get into right now these days you'd be better off buying 
and sitting on them. Now, if you sit your black ass up there in line and say that you heard of Bitcoin and you have it, I'm going to find out. I'm going to look your fucking address up on the blockchain. If it's created after the day after I, uh, on the same day I posted this fucking video, it didn't lie again. Blockchain don't lie. It's hard coded. You can't change it. It records all transactions. Meaning you created a wallet, the data is going to be posted for people to go back and look. So therefore, stop selling the motherfucking books and all the other bullshit and get black folks in the currency. A cryptocurrency. These kind of things a lot of us miss out on until after. Until after it hit the news. After motherfuckers and became millionaires. The same shit that didn't happen, you, you still young. So I know you don't really know too much about the web in the beginnings, the early beginnings. See, I was around when eBay first started up. When it was small, small website. I was around when Netscape, when we were still using fucking Netscape browsers. I'm seeing a lot of shit explode, blow up. This right here, it's going to blow up. You get a lot of our people involved. And I'm just not, not talking to you, Polite. I'm talking to the rest of you so-called leaders out there. You get some of our people to invest to get a piece of that pie. You don't know how? I just may post a video to walk through the, the step by step walkthrough. Because it's, if you don't know that much, or if you, all you know how to just use a damn keyboard and mouse and click, you're going to need some help trying to understand this, trying to wrap your head around it. But, um,. This is going to be big, real big. And you got a lot of black folks that, that need the help. That really, really need the help. Instead of wasting fucking time debating, charging black folks to, wa to watch a debate, fuck, the, the president's debate for free. Shit. The hell you going to charge our people for a damn debate. You got the money, you put up the fucking money. And let them come in for free. They want to donate, they donate. That's if you down. Because right now, the way I see it, you're just a hustler right now. You're just a hustler. You might have something in you to, to, to change, but I see you no different than a nigga on the street hustling somebody out of their money. And I'm putting this video out so your followers can see this. I want them to see it. I'm holding your feet to the fire. Don't say that to other people that, that it don't work. Bitcoin is just some bullshit or whatever. It's not. And it can change. We can benefit from it. Everybody else is benefiting from it. The Arabs, the Chinese, the Europeans, the white folks right here in America. The 
bottom line is this, Polite. You get your facts straight. And call that motherfucking bullshit out. Because if you get into a real debate with somebody like me, you, you're going to lose. You're going to. And the rest of you brothers out there, take heed. If you want to help, if you really down for helping nine people out, and you you have a group, you invest. If you like I say, you don't know how, I just may post a video, step by step walkthrough. Not just be selfish with the shit. Bitcoin wasn't built upon being selfish. You got a lot of selfish miners out there. And very few of them are black. I fucking know this shit. You get in on it. And give. Help black folks out. Before it becomes regulated. And until then, I end this video. Ultra Star Triple Three. Today is January 8th, 2014.